tell us about American Reject and the inspiration behind the film? Okay, so American Reject is a music comedy uh, based on my true experience of being a singing hopeful on a reality show um, turned reject. And um, it's it's a look at one of what happens to one of the rejects once they get the boot. We're introduced to your character. She's probably at the lowest point in her life, but we see this beautiful journey that she has throughout the film. As an actress, how did you create the space for yourself to dive into that journey? Well, it's interesting because you know I wrote it, so yeah. I have to say it was it was a lot easier to step into this because all the writing really allowed me to do the work. Um, and and create these create what needed to be accomplished in the story as a whole. And so by the time I would step into a scene, um, the director Marlo Hunter and I had already, you know, really fleshed out what needs to happen and what's happening for my character and and how that pertains to the whole the whole film. Um, so I was able just to step in and kind of go boom 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 and do it and. Um, you know, we were a really tight, you know, we shot the whole thing in 15 days. So we didn't have a lot of time. I had probably like a couple takes per per moment. And so it was it was like arrive and be on it. So um, writing it did help a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's so much authenticity that comes off the screen and you cast actors who have gone through and competed on reality television shows. As you were writing these characters, did you have these particular actors in mind? What was that casting process like? Well, I did have some of the actors in mind because they're friends of mine. And of course, they're inspirations to me. And I thought, oh, I've got to get Mary Birdsong in this movie, for example. Or Connie Ray, who plays my mother, is a good friend. And she is just, she can do anything, in, in my opinion. Um, uh, but yes, I wanted to have rejects. I wanted to have people that have been on these shows and have gotten the boot or at least know the experience um, to be in the cast. I mean, originally I thought maybe I'd try and cast the whole thing with rejects, but that doesn't work. So um, yeah, so we have four of us, Rebecca Black, Michael Lynch, Angelica Hale, and myself, who've all had that experience. And I do think that brings a different heart to the film. It brings yeah. a lot of camaraderie of, hey, like this is an important story to tell. It may maybe not everyone has been on a reality show of course but we all have that like that what if or that loss or that thing we were so hoping for that just didn't happen you were saying earlier you wrote starred and produced the film how challenging was it for you to wear all those different hats also filming within 15 days yeah you know pretty challenging <laughs> pretty challenging i have to say i'm still doing it as we're launching the movie and everything it's like here i get to talk about being the actor and then you know i'm like oh did anyone watch the trailer you know and talking to other people but um it was a lot i co-produced with my husband so we really you know we were knocking on doors with the script and and doing everything all the way uh, until now and um it was a lot, but because I think it was, um, you know, my story and I really felt passionate about telling this and I felt like it was for me to write, um, everything aligned and I was able to just, just go, I got to own this. But we also had incredible team in New Orleans that read the script and came on board. And, um, you know, we filmed this at a soundstage because we needed a reality show stage and everyone you know I had a lot of people say you can't make this you know with a smaller budget or with the first time uh, writer like this isn't going to happen but but you know the folks of New Orleans the film industry here like came around us and we were able to make this film so that helped a lot too. And you know the film does such a beautiful job balancing comedy with these really grounded moments for you as a creative is one more challenging to write for and is one more difficult to act in? Mm, that's such a good question. Um, it's easier for me to act in comedy. And I would say even write in comedy, mm -hmm. although I have to say as a first time writer, I would write things I thought were really funny. And then I'd hear another actor do it. And I'd be like, no, you gotta. And then I'm thinking, oh yeah, you don't tell actors how to do things. <laughs> you know, it's like kind of like, it's like going all over the place. Um, but I think because I was, I really brought true uh, moments and pain from my own life. I was able to step into these moments of um, oh, just conflict and pain um, easier than I thought. I'd be curious if this was someone else's story that I was stepping into, you know, how hard that would be to, to do that. But I would definitely say comedy would be easier for me and then, and then getting into the dirt takes a little bit more time. 
getting into the dirt, there's this really vulnerable moment about halfway through the film where your character is speaking with her father. How did you prepare for that scene in particular? Oh, okay, so there's a funny story around, a little bit of a funny story around the scene. I had written the scene, you know, Kate speaks to her dead father, which you really realize is, you know, a hardship she hasn't faced. Yeah. And, um, and really a, a symbol of, uh, you know, a loss in her life and why she can't just be a normal human and get on with herself. Um, and I, we filmed it. It was nice. It was beautifully shot. Like it was great. And I was like, you know, kind of Debbie down and doing all the, <laughs> the things. And then we watched the film and it was like, oh, this isn't really going anywhere, you know? Um, and this is going to sound silly, but I, so that was, we shot the film 15 days that happened and we watched the film and said, we need to redo a few things. And that was one thing mm. that was really important to me that we didn't have this moment with Kay that you really saw the word, like the word rejection, the movie's American reject. And I was like, wow, we don't have a moment where we see what it has done to her or what it really means to her or anything. And um, I watched A Star is Born. That's when this was coming out. And when it was done, I was bawling. And I said to my husband, I'm like, I just like, our movie is so bad. Like, this was so good. And we're gonna like, it, like and I even said to him, I go, um, I said, you know, here I am trying to write a movie and put it out. And I still feel like I'm fourth best at what I'm doing. Like, I'm never mm. gonna just arrive. And there's something that like went off in that moment as I'm like crying and my husband's like, great. Um, that I was like, oh my gosh, I think that I, I that's the moment that the movie needs. And we, we need a moment where she just is always the almost, she's always the runner up. And, you know, and as we, so we went and we reshot that scene. And I'm, of course, I'm very pregnant in that scene actually. So maybe that helped a little too, but I worked with the director Marlo and we just, I, I said, we need to put this in here. And I wrote the scene, but she just decided to ask me questions to film that scene that would inspire those answers that I said we needed, I thought we needed for the character. So we really partnered in that. And it was a, tricky scene because at times I thought okay she's just complaining and she's sad and then I other people and you know viewers and we did test audiences were like no we really need to see that from her so it was one of those things I just had to stick to my guns on like okay we got to see that so that was that's how I prepared for that I went honestly I went back to that stars born moment where I thought I was never I was just always going to be like okay you know. That scene was absolutely fantastic. And um, this film has made its way around the, the festival circuit. It's been incredibly well received. What do you think is resonating most with audiences and what do you hope they take away? Yeah, um, it's been really fun to show it to audiences because of course the things I think will really pop, they they forget. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> that, that's how it really works. And that's awesome. Um, the two things I've noticed that really have, have stuck with people are the music. I'll get mm. even even um, people that have worked on the film they'll be like oh the music you know um, so I hope that really you know people really enjoy that and the second thing I would say that is really has sat with people is the mother daughter relationship in this film um, of course as we were showing around festivals I would have women that were of um, you know a mom's age come to me and be like you know when she says you know, you go out and they're like reciting the lines. I'm like, wow, that really hit people of, of um, being worried that they're going to be something they, they don't want to be. So they spend all their time being distracted by the problem as opposed to letting that go and stepping into their life. Um, so that scene really hit. But honestly, I, I just hope audiences, you know, not everybody's on a reality show. Not everyone has, you know, had America vote for them or whatever. But I really do think audiences at least can relate to there's this thing in your life that maybe we never got over or that rejection is a real um can be a real beast in people's lives you know we think we have to just like deal with it and oh get over it but it can kind of fester and narrate your whole story and I just hope people are inspired by this story that that it doesn't have to and and you know like the song it's always chapter one yeah, and with this being such a personal story to you, is there a particular scene that you're really excited for audiences to see when it drops? Oh, great question. Uh, I think the ending of the film is a nice surprise. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I've all, I've been a little cautious to um uh to share what it what happens, but I think it's a nice surprise. It's been in the script since day one, and um, I've pretty much written the movie up to that that ending, and um, it's really special. I think I think people will like it. Thank you.